morning guys, it's Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. I'm trying to see the camera. It is a gorgeous morning out here. It is just gorgeous. Um, I can't see the camera because I stopped and my glasses have fogged up. So actually, I think I'm just gonna pop them up over my head if I can. Woohoo, it's the trees popping. It's cold out here, can you tell by my face? It's negative four. And hang on a second here, I'm gonna put my other glove back on. <sighs> Okay, so what am I doing? Today is March 3rd, it's Sunday. I am walking. Walking, walking out to our truck. Um, the mountain man mentioned on Facebook Live that he's been busy with the job. I didn't say where. Um, we don't share that stuff uh, when I'm back in here by myself, because it's just not wise. But he left last Sunday, and uh, he was in Atlanta, Georgia, working on a fabrication job. A buddy of his. He's flying in today, and uh, it has been a bit of a challenging week for me, but also very empowering, very awesome, and very healing. Um, dropped him off Sunday. Picked up a desk for a friend while I was out. Came back because the mountain boy stayed the night here so that he could take care of the dogs for me. And I came back and got him and uh, so that he could help me deliver the desk. On the way back then we got stuck. I don't think the four wheel drive was engaging. It was later in the day. We tried to get it out. So we went out Monday morning. It took us two hours to get chains on it because it wouldn't move. So we had to be a little creative getting the chains on. But got it free, got it back here. And then it snowed another uh, 12 to 16 inches of snow for three different, three, three days. So we were, took him out Tuesday and uh, was back here by myself, so those days that it snowed, I was here by myself, so I plowed, and I shoveled, and I plowed, and I shoveled, and I plowed, and I shoveled some more. Got her done, got the firewood in, and I waited till yesterday when it was really cold to try to drive the truck out. Um, snows, about a foot deep here where I'm walking. I'm walking in my path from the truck last night, so I didn't need to wear the snowshoes. Um, oh, I was just checking, one cat was following me. So anyway, our lane is a mile long. And I parked the truck out at the end to ensure that I could get out to get him. The chicken and carrots on the stove last night. They're still on the stove today. They'll be cooking nice. I cooked up some potatoes for mashed potatoes, so they're all ready to go. All they need is heated and mashed. So he'll have a good cooked meal when he gets home. And this is why we live the way we do. It's invigorating. It keeps us healthy. It keeps us alive keeps us pushing ourselves and what a glorious morning you know some people would be really upset I've got a pretty hefty pack on my back put most of the stuff in the truck that I needed for today but there were valuables that I get one out there so I have those on my back and some water because I knew that would freeze but some people would find this to be aggravating to have to walk but you know what it is beautiful it is sunny it is the snow is just amazing and sparkly it's just it's a gorgeous morning last night coming back in I took my Rhodesian Ridge back with me so she enjoyed the walk back with me but an eagle flew over it was windy and it just hovered over top of me in the wind really awesome really really awesome but this 
This, guys, is why we like our lifestyle. There's always an adventure in just our day to day. And, you know, you don't have to live off grid to enjoy these adventures. You just need to get out from behind the screen, behind the mobile device, behind the game, get outside. Physical work is so healthy. I detoxed so good this week. All that sweating and being outside. You know, normally I am stuck behind a screen as my profession, but boy, I'd toss it all in these woods in a heartbeat just to be able to be outside all the time. That's where I am my happiest. So who knows what's in store for our future? But I wanted to bring you along. It's so cold, the trees are snapping. Sap's freezing. Oh, it's just awesome out here. I know I'm heavy breathing, because I'm kind of pushing it a little bit here. I gotta get out. I got a full day. I'm picking up other things. You never go out on a two hour run and don't take care of errands and things in those areas that you need. So, got about six stops today, and I gotta get out here. I gotta get probably less than a quarter mile from our gate to the county road, and that's probably gonna be the worst part of the trek, with the truck anyway. But as cold as it is, it's probably my saving grace. But I gotta go get the chains off, and, and get on with my day. So I'm gonna spin this around, show you guys my view. Maybe the eagle will show itself. There we go. I'll give you a better view now. <laughs> I'm surprised my camera's holding out as cold as it is. Usually, you know, probably the battery's going fast. But maybe you can see here. It's like this the whole way, so it's quite something. It is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous morning. So guys, here's another little glimpse into our lives. And, you know, having your home or homestead prepared so that one of your, and your spouse when your spouse is just gone, that the other can get by, you know. I think it's important that you're both active in the responsibilities so that you know what to do and that you're not left hanging when one's not present. And... be afraid of the physical work. Woohoo! The physical work is keeps you alive and keeps your ticker ticking and actually helps your body. And more than that, just enjoy your life. Realize what does make you happy. So many of us go through our day to day and you truly don't know what makes you happy. You're seeking that, right? I know what makes me happy. Some things are just worth fighting for. All right, guys. I got to step it up. You guys have a great day. And we'll catch you on the next one. God bless. All right, guys. Here we go again. We're going to adapt and overcome. I got out here. She wouldn't start. She's gel, not completely. She's trying. I don't want to kill the battery either. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Man, I'm gonna kill the battery. Hey guys, I don't typically uh, 
record with my iPad, but I just got back in here. My phone is frozen. Um, I'm a little frozen. Uh, the truck wouldn't start. Um, it is gelled up, and if I keep pushing it, the battery's going to go too, so I'm going to need some, whew, some sunshine to get in on there, and maybe, maybe I can get it to start later, but I just hiked back, and phew, I took a shortcut, but darn near killed me. I did some detoxing this morning for sure. Uh, I just went through snow that was waist deep, so I want to plan B called conquering and overcoming and uh, I do still love my lifestyle this is just the adventure of it so it's part of it it is what it is and now I got to figure out how I'm getting my man home so uh, got a couple calls out well actually messages um, so we'll see what happens but I'll, I'll keep recording as we go along but I just want to jump on here quick uh, and record while I could and, uh, I don't know how this would go on the iPad but there you have it a little bit of winded, a little bit of cold, but it was an invigorating walk. It just sucks that I couldn't get the truck started. But got hot water on for some tea, and I'm now attempting plan B. So we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I just got back in. I was I took the four-wheeler out and was able to get her started. So I'm so excited. I did have somebody in the wings waiting, well actually planning to go get uh, the mountain man at the airport but just messaged him and told him he can stay nice and snug in his home right now. I'm going to now hike out, get the truck out to the county road, get the chains off, and start heading on my two-hour trek. So it all comes together. Just have to have patience, perseverance, and keep pushing forward, right? <laughs> it's a little chilly out there, though. It's quite chilly. So I'm going to take a nice brisk walk because I left my bag out in the rig so I don't have to carry that a uh, third time. So here we go. Okay. Coming around the corner here. I can smell it. I left it running. So and there's the nice rumble of the diesel. Such a sweet sound this morning. See, and it's good I had it all mapped out because you see I had a whole bunch of errands to run. They'll get scattered, I suppose. They weren't that important. But my morning started early enough that I was able to wait for it to warm up, get the truck started, and still have plenty of time to get my man at the airport. It's all in planning. See, I talk about goals and schedules and planning and how important it is to be well planned out. And a lot of people argue with me. There's something about it, I'm telling you. It also eliminates a lot of stress because, you know, this is what it is. I couldn't change it. So, there you go. You can hear the diesel. All right. So, it wouldn't start at negative four, but it started at 11. So, I'm okay with that. Now, I got to open the gate, drive down the road, take the four chains off, hit the highway. So, I'll catch you guys later. All right. I'm hustling. I thought I'd jump on here and end this video. Um, I started recording on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. Um, as you progress with me on Sunday, you saw the circumstances that I had to deal with. And uh, um, on the last step of things there, I had somebody that could pick the mountain man up in Washington. And I had somebody that was local that could run about a third of the way but couldn't go the whole way so I didn't know anybody in between and um, felt a little stuck so um, always trust God in our circumstances and uh, did lots of praying Sunday but as you noticed I wasn't all stressed out and I wasn't freaking out and you know that's really important in all aspects of life because the more we stress the more we really do harm our bodies. Uh, we have a lot of uh, negative hormones floating through our bodies, uh, 
putting us in a fight and flight mode when we're stressed. And I've been talking all year, if you follow my New Beginnings videos, um, about the importance of planning, goal setting, and having a calendar and a schedule. And you know, I had Sunday very well scheduled. I also left early. I left at quarter of eight to go out and start the truck. I didn't need to pick him up until almost one o'clock. So I had lots of extra time there to shuffle my schedule versus, you know, planning to leave and not have any extra time. Um, my All of my day's events that were scheduled did get taken care of, um, and we got everything we needed. I was able to get him, but I wanted to point that out that I wasn't all stressed and I wasn't all worked up. And, and you know what? It wasn't how I planned my day to, to go, but as you saw, I rolled with it. The, the funny thing is I had people in line and waiting um, that if I couldn't get the truck out, they would go get him for me. But I called them all off on Saturday night because I was able to get the truck out to the gate, never anticipating um, that I wouldn't be able to start it. So, like I mentioned on, on the earlier parts of the video, you know, learning to overcome things and to just roll with it and just go to the next stage in your planning, you know, plan B, uh, that's all you can do sometimes. And, um, the power of prayer is huge. I got out there and I turned the key and nothing happened and I uh, had already prayed, but when I turned the key the second time, she wanted to start. So, um, diesel is a little different than a gasoline um, engine uh, in that you know when it starts to want to go you leave the key on and give it a chance to uh, turn over and earlier it was just so cold I was more afraid of draining the battery in which case I would have really been sunk because I had no means of getting out there to recharge the battery um, you know so sometimes it is what it is and you just got to learn to shuffle and roll with it um, had I not started it, I imagine the mountain man would have stayed the night in Washington because that was an option, and I would have just had to continue figuring out what to do here. Um, this is just how things happen sometimes. And, you know, we never share anything that goes on here looking for sympathy. This is a lifestyle we chose, and many of you are choosing the same type of lifestyle. So... We share what goes on here so that if you are in the same mindset and you are wishing to live a similar lifestyle, that you realize what's involved and sometimes what is necessary. Today, we are here. We are steadfast here because we can't get out. Um, we just barely got in last night. We had run errands yesterday and um, ran out and helped friends of ours get some food and some of their medications and uh, took the mountain boy grocery shopping also he was along with for the ride so you know we got everything taken care of we needed to and um, it warmed up and then it proceeded to rain so coming in was a real challenge and then when we got back here it just dumped buckets and we've got a lot of as the mountain man calls it sour snow it's just bad it's very soft snow we've got we had a you know 12 to 18 inches depending where you were on the lane and um, even with four chains and four-wheel drive, it's just an absolute bear to get in here and, and out. So rather than destroy the only vehicle that we have, he's working on the house today. I'm recording videos and doing odds and ends. You know, so you, you always learn to roll with the punches and roll with what life gives you. And the sooner you learn not to get all stressed out, all worried, all angered, um, whatever negative emotion comes to you when things don't go your way, um, you know, the sooner you learn to revamp those emotions and just uh, go on to the next thing that you can, progress in the way that you can, um, contact who you need to to change your situation or move on to something else. But the thing is, there's always always, always going to be something that goes awry or something that throws you off. So when you learn to just naturally handle it without having tons of worry and emotions, um, life is so much better. You are much healthier and you know, you can't change the circumstances that come your way. All you can do is adjust to them and how you choose to adjust and how you choose to react is up to you. So and the other thing is, as you go through these processes and, and you adjust to your circumstances and, and what life throws you, um, learning how to 
um, maybe prepare differently for future events of the similar kind. Um, in this case, there wasn't much I could have done really differently. Um, I ensured that the truck was out there so that I could get in and out. Um, now, had I known that I would have gotten negative four temperatures, I don't like to, to um, bank a whole lot on the uh, weatherman because he's wrong a lot. Um, so, I had I waited, I probably wouldn't have had a problem going out um, on Sunday morning, being that it was negative four. But I didn't want to chance that either. Uh, getting stuck Sunday morning would have really sunk me. Um, you know, so I don't really feel that there's much I could have done differently. Um, and I'm thankful that I've learned to just process and keep moving. You know, I don't get worked up. I don't get angry. I just keep moving. Um, and I, I'm, I'm grateful for that. It, it keeps me healthy and, and on a healing process versus uh, making me sick because that negative energy and that stress is not good for the body. But in your circumstances, say you lose power, you didn't have enough water, your well doesn't um, pump without electricity, so you didn't have water. Um, and maybe you didn't have enough water for the, the circumstances of the power being out as long as it was. So what are you going to do different? Have more water on hand. Uh, maybe get a hand pump. You know, there's all kinds of different things you can do depending on the scenario. But the thing is, assess your situation. What could you have done different? What could you do different moving forward? And, and you just roll with it. And like I said, this is a lifestyle we chose. I would not change it for anything. Um, I walked out a mile in skunky snow and, and hard walking three times on Sunday. I wouldn't change that for anything. Um, it wasn't how I had planned my day, but you know what? I got lots of extra exercise. I sweated up good, which is a good detox for me. You know, it's all how you look at it. And I don't know. I just, I love my life. I love what we have incorporated um, here into our lives. Uh, there's so many more positives than negatives. And uh, like I said, it's all how you look at it. And it's what we've chosen for ourselves. So anyway, um, rather than rambling on, Mountain Man is home, safe and sound. Uh, truck is back here and we're just going to wait for some cold weather and uh, or the snow to melt and we'll get out again. So anyway, guys, take care. We'll catch you on the next video. Just remember to be prepared for whatever comes your way. All right. God bless.